today for Michelle Nunn. For Michelle Nunn. And I'm thrilled to support her, and I hope everybody in Houston County will as well. So basically, you're, you're uh, basically you're just going to give an overview of like her, her, her uh, policy stances. I'm really going to tell you why I think you should vote for her, why okay. I'm voting for her, because I, I think it's hard to talk about policy when you're not the candidate, when you're right. a surrogate. I've been a candidate, and I've been elected before, too. Mm -hmm. And so okay. it's hard to it's hard to speak for somebody else in that sense. And so mm -hmm. I'm an imperfect substitute, but I hope what I tell people will make them excited to go to an event where, Mich where Michelle's going to be and right. look at the website and do some other things, go to Facebook page. Good. Yeah, I've also like clicked the like button on the on, the, on that page as well, um, especially because she's uh, you know, she's a, a, her name is like kind of well known. Pretty known down here in uh -huh. Houston County. That's right. right. And although that's to me that's important. Her background is important. She certainly learned a lot growing up in that family and with her father being a U.S. senator, <laughs> among other things that he's done in right. his life. Indeed. That's not the reason I'm supporting her. Right. There are other reasons I'm supporting her. That's important. It certainly mm -hmm. shaped her, but it's 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 not the sole thing. But, okay. But I think in Houston, everybody ought to be paying attention because she's a native daughter. A native daughter. But she was actually born in Macon in Bibb County. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we can claim her too. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, and so and so, uh, you're, 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 well, the uh, will the audience have a chance to like uh, to ask questions? I think that for the statewide, they're not doing questions. They're just going to have everyone speak for a few minutes and right. share whatever they want to share, either their policy platform or right. why to support on that sort of thing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because I was going to like ask especially about um, say I'm, I'm part I'm part of, I work with uh, the the uh, Georgia Quality um, LGBT rights group in uh, in Atlanta, or at least um, I, I get I, I'm I'm good friends with uh, with M. Elliot, who's uh, who's a, sta a staff member there, and uh, basically they're trying to get this um, this 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 um, this uh, bill before the state senate um, or the state uh, state the general assembly regarding uh, what, what is it um, a prohibit prohibit prohibition of discrimination against uh, state employment in the pu public sector employment in the state of Georgia on the basis of sexual orientation right. and gender identity. Well, you know, I, I can say that I personally support that bill you know, okay. as a Georgia voter. And, um, I, it's hard to speak for another candidate on that. And I think when, right. you come, when it comes to issues of equality, mm -hmm. I suspect Michelle is for about being fair to all, being equal to all. Those are, right. well, that's what I hear her talking about. Okay. Um, I'm worried from a practical matter Right. about a bill like that getting a lot of traction because sure. of the makeup of our General Assembly. Indeed. But that being said, you know, we've just had a lawsuit filed in Georgia, mm -hmm. that, and we've seen in other states that the courts are some of the ways to attack some of this really discriminatory legislation and constitutional amendments that we've seen on these issues. Indeed. And, it, and especially because of how courts have been much more proactive than legislatures on uh, these issues. Right. Um, and, and, I, and I guess that uh, the only way that, that that can probably change is either by way of uh, the of either executive action or by um, or by the de uh, the Democratic Party push. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's hard to imagine in Georgia with the makeup of our General Assembly mm -hmm. a repeal of our current constitutional amendment right. bans gay marriage. Right, right. I do think it will get overturned by the courts. However, right. be probably before we have the legislative will to do it here right. in Georgia. And you know what? That's okay <laughs> because that is an appropriate function of a court. When to find something to be unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's very, very simple. It violates the mm -hmm. right of equal protection. Indeed. It just does. Exactly. And, um, and I can, can I get your name, by the way? Alicia Jones. Alicia Jones. Yes. And you were... Um, I'm and, with the supporter of Liz Johnson for Commissioner of Insurance. Okay, for Commissioner of Insurance. Which I, I was wondering if, like, about, like, the, if the audiences are going to have, have, like, time for, like, uh, for ans asking questions regarding... Well, I don't know. I think Fanika would be best to tell you that. Right. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, from what I understand, it's an introduction, uh, and uh, in that introduction, we kind of talk about what our platform is. Okay. Right. That's from what I understand. Also. Okay, cool. Most of us have been traveling two and three. Look, this is, for some of us, this is our third or fourth stop. Mm, that's so true. It's all good. It's all good. Yes. Okay. So I, I, guess, I guess you're you're like way prepared for this right now. Pardon me? I guess you're way prepared for, uh, for, for the... Uh, way for the... prepared? Mm -hmm. I think each day brings a new experience, but it's all good nevertheless. Exactly. I'm Doreen Carter. Oh, okay. I am the uh, Democratic mm -hmm. candidate for Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. And uh, our platform is very simple. Uh, we have to address voter suppression. We have to address uh, ensuring that legal citizens in Georgia have access and opportunity to vote. Uh, we
we should encourage women. We should be training our kids to, to, to you know, the, the importance of uh, their right and how their voice is important. We have to encourage that. And then the other thing we have to address are our, the technology and the different systems and making sure that we have the right procedures and oversight so that we won't have some of the uh, issues that we've had this year as related with licensing, professional licensing. Mm -hmm. uh, we also need to tweak the uh, corporation's website so folks can navigate through it because we will encourage business. Mm -hmm. That will encourage jobs. So those are some of the things we want to be able to make sure that we have uh, good oversight. We have the right people in the right seats with management in place, directors, and then the employees have good direction mm -hmm. so that we can eliminate some of the things that just shouldn't happen. Right. So, Doreen Carter, Doreen Carter. Uh, okay. your candidate for the Secretary of Okay, cool. And one thing I was reading about recently was how veterans here, uh, like in, in, in most states, um, date the ones who didn't achieve like re re retirement status because they didn't stay in uh, for that for that long, um, in order to prove they, if they if they go to uh, to a store or they go to some other function and uh, they have veterans discounts or what have you, and they tell and they say um, okay uh, you need to show like proof of your voter your uh, your veteran status uh, for however, however long you uh, you served, um, they they have to produce like this this uh, paper called the DOD, I forgot the rest of the numbers, um, DOD 1140 or something. Um, and one thing, and I was reading about how that's an issue for, because it contains a lot of sensitive data. Um, and it, but it, it, so what, what is being done in a number of, of uh, jurisdictions, including counties in New Jersey, uh, this whole state of Virginia, I think, has introduced this, uh, a veteran's identification card. And what it does, it allows student, um, veterans who didn't, who, uh, who are not retirees to still have an ID, car, an, an ID card that's um, recognized within that jurisdiction only, um, but still is, um, and, but is distinct from, say, the VA card. Um, you know, but, but will still allow them to uh, do a lot of the things that the DOD uh, paper would um, would would, uh, would would take longer to to, uh, to do, and um, so I was wondering, would that also be something that's feasible under like uh, uh, under you being Secretary of State? Well, one of the things that I'm very much um, committed to, and I've done some work with veterans in the past, so I would definitely be very supportive to ensure that uh, the folks who have protected us right. have what they need. And if there's an opportunity in the Secretary of State office, I'll definitely be um, very active right. in working to it. Mm -hmm.